Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are all doing well. We're gonna jump right into this video because we've got a lot of things going on. <laughs> I'm doing hair, makeup, we're doing an outfit. I'm showing you guys my fragrance and I'm also gonna be vlogging. So yeah, we're just gonna go straight into this video. I hope you guys enjoy. So first things first, we're gonna be getting into this wig install. I have a new wig from Wow African Hair Company. Shout out to them for sponsoring today's video and sending over this really beautiful unit. It's got this gorgeous brown color guys oh my gosh I'm living for it it's such like a perfect like warm chocolatey brown like I'm obsessed with this color it's so so pretty the texture of the hair is really soft the lace melted into the skin so well but and yeah I have nothing but good things to say about this wig it's just it's it's giving <laughs> um but yeah I'm gonna leave all of the information for it down below in the description box so if you have any questions about like details about the hair definitely double check the description box. I'll also add a link to this exact wig that I'm wearing if you guys want to check it out on the website. So we're going to be going ahead and installing her. I'm going to start like prepping to get this install ready. I've been just been putting my hair in like two little pigtails. That's kind of like what the deal has been with like my hair for <laughs> my wig installs these days. I've just been super lazy with it. I just like I don't got time anymore. I'm just like, I have braids, two braids and I'm good. Mostly because I like to go to the gym in the morning because I'm sweating and all this other stuff. So I like to have like my natural hair out, but I also love to wear like wigs like during the day. So I need to be able to like switch between like going from my natural hair to doing like a really quick wig install. So just doing my hair in like two little braids in the back of my head is kind of like, all I really got time for. Like I don't have time to do like cornrows like I used to. I am also doing the bald cap method. I used a stocking to do this bald cap method today. I definitely got this idea from Larasia Andrea here on YouTube. She is like the queen when it comes to like wig installs. And um, yeah, so I definitely got that idea from her. I used my Ebon lace melting spray to do the bald cap method. It's a new spray that I just recently got from the beauty supply store. I saw it and I was like, oh, I wonder what this is. And um, I just decided to try it. And it's been working really well for like my bald cap method. So I've just been using that for that particular step. And then I'll switch over to like the actual like adhesive aerosol spray to install the wig. I feel like the difference between like the melting spray and the adhesive spray I notice is like first of all like one is an aerosol and one is not so that's kind of like the biggest difference but I feel like the melting spray it's more lightweight if that makes sense and it just feels much like softer on the skin so I prefer it for like the bald cap method for those particular reasons. Thank you. 
I just realized that the volume on my microphone was really high, so I hope it didn't sound like I was like yelling at you guys the whole time. Um, sorry about that. Hopefully this sounds a little bit better. Anyways, yeah, so everything for the wig install is kind of like same same from there from here on out Like I haven't really changed too much of anything besides like adding that new product to like my um like the steps that I like to take to do like a wig install. Um, after like I got the lace together, I just added my, my elastic band to like set the lace into place and like really melt it down. And um, while that's kind of like sitting there, I went ahead and curled the hair using my uh, curling wand. I just got this one from, from Target. A couple of you guys were asking me about this curling wand on my last video and it's just a, a con air it's something fancy it's just like a conair curling wand that i got at target um it's like one of those curling wands that's like it comes with three different barrels that like so one is like a little bit larger i think it's like a one and a half inch one is an inch and then there's like one that's like a quarter inch or something like that um but yeah it's nothing like fancy at all it's it works for me <laughs> but it's not like anything like super crazy but yeah so i think i'm using like the one inch barrel if i'm not mistaken and i just use that to curl like all of the hair i'm gonna see if i can go on like the target website and find a link to this particular curly wand because i just i only purchased it like maybe like two or three months ago so i feel like it might still be on like the website like, i feel like they might still still sell it so i'll see if i can find a link um just in case you guys are interested in it and I'll place it in the description box for you as well even though this curly one isn't like super fancy like i still feel like it works really well like it's definitely been doing like me good when it comes to like styling my hair and everything and i love the fact that it has like those interchangeable barrels so you can use it to create like more um like voluminous curls like the ones that i'm creating today or you can use like a smaller barrel to do like a tighter curl so it's nice to kind of like have all of that in like one curling wand anyways so yeah i'm all done curling the hair i'm gonna go ahead and do like my little side part you guys know how much i love a good side part that's like my signature when i'm like what are we doing i don't know okay side part <laughs> um that's kind of like my thought process definitely went in with my hot comb and just like flattened that out and i'm using just a tiny tiny little bit of got to be ultra glue hair gel just to style the edges i've been going with more of like a softer edge these days like i've just been kind of preferring it you know just doing something a little, a little soft and simple nothing so crazy and uh, i'm using my little um razor comb that I also got from the beauty supply store just to trim like the edges down um, so the hair is like a lot easier to style and it gets has like that nice like you know cute little swoop effect. I feel like using this little razor comb too is a lot like better than using scissors. Like the hair doesn't look so like choppy if that makes sense. It looks more like layered. Uh, anyways, after that I just used some pink spritz to secure the style. Um, I wanted these curls to last, okay? I needed the style to last. Like I wasn't really sure like what um, I was gonna do for like my outfit at this point, but I was like, okay, well, if we're gonna be doing like these huge voluminous curls, like these curls need to just like stay and not, I, I really wanted like the swoop to be like, you know, to uh, to be swooping for the, for the day, you know what I mean? <laughs> But yeah, so I definitely use a little bit of spritz just to set the style into place. And uh, I think that's it. I'm pretty sure that's it for the hair. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Yep, that's it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's gorgeous. It's giving. <laughs> But yeah, so that's pretty much it for the hair. Uh, like I mentioned earlier, I'll leave all of the information for the slip unit down below in the description box. It's stunning, guys. Like the, I love how voluminous like this hair is as well. Like the density of it is perfection. The color is gorgeous and it's like such a good wig. It melted into the skin like butter. Now that we are all done with the hair, let's go ahead and move into this makeup look. Please don't mind my little dark marks that I've got going on. I had a little breakout that happened like maybe like a week and a half ago and my skin is just like super sensitive anytime I break out like it's just like inevitable that I get dark marks so yeah 
please don't mind that. <laughs> so I am gonna be doing my everyday like makeup look for today's makeup, but I'm gonna be using a lot of new products that I wanted to show you guys. So first thing that's new is this moisturizer. I'm using a new moisturizer from Benefit's Pore Care line. It is their professional smooth sit moisturizer. It's super hydrating and very moisturizing. I really like this moisturizer and it definitely like helped with like making sure that the skin just looks super smooth before I went in with my foundation and everything. I went ahead and added my primer and I also wanted to let you guys know about like this new trick that I started doing with my under eye makeup. So I've been using Vaseline on my under eyes to like help with like dryness. Like my under eyes are super super dry and no eye cream has worked. It's just been like a nightmare trying to do like my under eye makeup with like dry under eyes and it's gotten even worse like being in like the winter here in Chicago where the air is like so much drier than Miami and it's just been like a task trying to find like a routine that kind of like works to get like a really flawless under eye and so far it's been working amazing it's been like the only thing that has worked with like treating like my dry under eyes so my I feel like my skin is still adjusting between like the climates and stuff I know like using Vaseline on your under eyes seems a bit excessive but it's like literally been the only thing that's worked. Like it's literally the only thing that has worked. So I'm 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 a stick beside it, okay? <laughs> I'm a stick, I'm a stick beside it. I know it sounds crazy, but it's it's been working for me. If you guys have any suggestions of like under eye creams I can use, you know, for super dry like under eyes, definitely feel free to leave them down below in the comments. Um, but yeah, vastly just seems like a good idea and so far so good. <laughs> Foundation and concealer are both like products that I've used before in the past. I think I use like the Makeup Forever HD Skin Foundation and the Charlotte Tilbury Radiant Concealer. I was going to say Radiant Creamy Concealer, but that's the NARS one. Um, it's the Beautiful Radiant Concealer um, from Charlotte Tilbury. This one I've been also really, really loving. And uh, yeah, so I went ahead and added those products on... Um, um, I did some color correcting using my Makeup Forever HD Skin Palettes for those little dark marks that you guys saw earlier. So that way it's not like, you know, creating like that weird shadow like underneath the foundation. Then I'm gonna go ahead and start setting everything with powder. I use the Huda Beauty Easy Bake Loose Setting Powder, but nothing the stuff um, to set the under eyes. I just did like a really light layer. You guys know me. Like I'll do like a little, <laughs> a light layer of powder um, to set everything first and then I'll go ahead and like bake later on. I just like to set everything prior so that way the bake doesn't kind of like make the under eyes like feel all cakey and stuff because I feel like if you just go in straight with like powder on like a like wet concealer like it just like soaks up all the concealer and like it sticks to it and it just feels really weird so um yeah definitely light layer of powder first and then bake if you're like me and you love to bake a little bit of powder foundation to set the rest of the face and then I'll do bronzer. Um, I always like to do bronzer before I do like my bake as well. Um, so that way I can create like those 
reverse contours especially on like my nose because I don't contour my nose I like to do like a reverse contour so I'll just add a little bit of bronzer onto the bridge of the nose and just like snatch the sides of the nose and kind of like let that brightness of the bake create like the reverse contour there Also, I'm gonna be using a new blush. Now you guys know how much I am obsessed with blush. I picked, I went to Sephora the other day and I picked up some new blushes from House Labs. We're using this super cute one from them today. And I also picked up this one from Danessa Myricks. Ah, it's so pretty, look at it. So, so cute. Um, I didn't use the Danessa Myricks one. Um, I totally forgot. I wanted to use both of them, but I like totally forgot to apply the Danessa Myricks one prior to like setting everything with powder. It's like a cream blush. Um, I think it's like a cream to powder, but I was like, I really wanted to apply that one like prior to setting with powder because I just didn't want to like mess up my skin or like my face makeup just in case. Um, so, but since I forgot, I was like, oh, you know what, I'll just like use the house laps one and, you know, call it a day. I'll use like the Danessa Myricks one in my next video. So stay tuned for that. But yeah, I just wanted to show you guys both of them because they're so gorgeous. Like, look at these colors. Ah! So I just ended up using the house laps one in Pomelo Peach. I'm actually really wanting to go back to Sephora and get another color. I think it's called Hibiscus Haze. It's more of like a peachy, or not a peachy, it's more of like a, a pinky color um, because I'm obsessed with this formula. It's just, it's really, really beautiful. I highly recommend. It's gotten a plus from me and I'm super excited to use like the Danessa Myricks one next tutorial because that one is, it's so stunning. Oh guys, I feel like for the first time in a while, I'm like excited about like makeup launches this year. I was on um, Trend Mood's like Instagram page, just kind of like seeing like what's new, like the makeup world and everything and it seems like there's gonna be a lot of like good stuff coming out this year i'm like really excited for it i haven't been excited about new makeup in like a really long time and like that think that's also like contributed to like me just not feeling like very creative when it comes to like doing makeup and stuff on top of the fact that i just kind of like want to look pretty most days <laughs> um but yeah like i'm actually like super excited for all the new stuff that's coming out i think like when i picked up these two blushes I wasn't even going in for like anything specific. I just wanted to like look around and kind of see what's new and just kind of like play around with stuff. Like it was a while since I've done that. And yeah, that's kind of like when I found um, like those two blushes and I was like, oh, this is so cute. You know, I feel like when it comes to makeup, like nothing has really been like very exciting for like the last you know, a couple of years for me personally. I'm not, I, don't, I won't like speak for everybody else, but I know for me personally, like makeup hasn't been like very exciting. And um, like seeing all of like these new amazing launches that are coming up for this year, um, or at least for like the spring summertime, just kind of like, it made me like really excited. It seems like this year is gonna be like a good year for like makeup, especially when it comes to like skin. I think that's like the most exciting part. Um, but yeah, anyways, I also went ahead and used a relatively new highlighter as well from Weir Beauty. I've been loving this little one. It's like a really pretty like gold color and it just looks super cute unlike the nose is like a highlight 
because you guys know I love like a good nose highlight. Um, but yeah, today I just really wanted to try. I remember in my last video, I remember mentioning that I wanted to try this this highlighter like on the cheeks as well. So that's what we're gonna do today as well. I'm gonna add this as like my little nose highlight, but it also popped just a little bit on to like the cheeks there. And oh my gosh, my when I say that this highlighter is so so freaking stunning it's so so pretty like i loved it on the nose but i love it even more like on the cheeks it definitely like inspired me to go back to wearing highlighter on my cheeks can't even lie it's so so pretty it just gives like the skin this really beautiful glow and i love the fact that it doesn't have like a weird like white cast like when you turn your head um i know for me like when i use certain highlighters like insert some angles like it'll look really strange like like there's like a weird shadow or like a cast like on my skin and this one just like melts into the skin so well but yeah rare beauty has been killing it okay <laughs> like i've been loving rare beauty and like all of their launches um they've been doing amazing i also picked up some new lip liners from one size beauty i use coin collector and i think the other shade is friend do the lighter one i just went ahead and applied that one first it's like a really cute like just kind of warm toned brown um perfect for like all of like your nude shades and then coin collector is the darker of the two you guys know how i love to like do two lip liners for like my lip looks um so i use that one to just create like that extra bit of contour i definitely layered i did some layering for this lip okay like i used like quite a few products for this lip combo i used a lipstick from makeup forever from their um mattes lipstick line like their um, liquid lipstick line and applied that onto the lips first it's like a cute little peachy color i don't know the shade name off the top of my head so i'll make sure to put that in the description box um i wanted the color to be like a little bit lighter in the center though so i used rem beauty's matte lipstick in shade roller skates and just apply that onto the center for a little bit of extra brightness and um at that point i really wanted to do like a lip gloss so I decided to use the Patrick Ta um, lip gloss and um, this one is stunning. It just makes the lips look super juicy and very like, mm-hmm, she's cute, she's cute. <laughs> Um, so that's pretty much what I did for like my little lip combo. It's It's got a lot going on, but it turned out really cute. Um, I used some setting spray from Benefit just to set the skin and that'll be it for the makeup. She's cute, right? Yes, I've been loving this little look for like everyday wear. She's dwarfs. <laughs> But yeah, so now that we are all done with the hair and makeup, I'm gonna show you guys my little outfit. Uh, yay, so now we're in my room. <laughs> I already have like my under layers on um, because we live in the Midwest and uh, it's cold. So you need some layers, you know what I mean, you feel me? So I have like my little layers on that I'm gonna be wearing underneath my clothes. After I was done filming, I was just kind of like, ah, oh, I kind of wanna just wear some chill clothes and just do be on some chill vibes. So I put on some sweatpants. <laughs> I put on these sweatpants for pretty little thing. They're like a cream color, they're super cozy. The pullover that I'm going to be wearing is a thrift store find. It's like a denim material, but it has like a aqua blue type of color to it. It's like a washed aqua blue. I love this pullover. I actually found it in like the men's section of like the thrift store that I went to. Fragrance is going to be from Kaali. 
this is their love fest burning cherry fragrance so so good i've been like really obsessed with cherry when it comes to fragrances right now and this one from kaoli is really really good and then for shoes i'm just wearing my vans because just trying to be cozy <laughs> just trying to be cute and cozy so sneakers is definitely like the way to go and then the coat that i'm wearing is also a thrift store find it's just like a nice cute like tan coat just for some added warmth so yeah at this point i was definitely feeling like the comfy cozy vibes and i was looking at my hair and was like oh it doesn't really match with like the overall vibe that we're going with so i decided to go ahead and put on this super cute hat from free people it's like the sherpa fabric i love the fact that this cream color kind of like matches almost perfectly with like the sweatpants i just tucked the hair behind the ears now the hair looks more like of a casual type of look versus before where it's like the hair was giving one thing and the outfit was giving like something com like the complete opposite <laughs> but yeah so that's pretty much the look i I finished filming a lot earlier than I like anticipated so I decided to go out and get a little bite to eat from this little cafe slash like restaurant I think it's called chic latte um I took my laptop thinking that I do some editing while I was there but it just ended up being just being like a little like chill moment I didn't spend too much time there I just picked up a little latte um and uh, a little like avocado toast I also thought it was really cute that they had these little affirmations on these cards all over like their tables i found this one it said you should do things not because you're good at them but because they make you happy and i thought that was very very sweet after my little bite to eat i came back home and just started getting ready to wind down for the rest of the day I really appreciate like a calm, quiet evening. I've never been one to kind of like go out a lot at night and you know, go to like clubs and stuff like that. Like I'm very chill and I just like to be home, I'm very much a homebody. So just having like a nice like cup of tea, like after kind of working all day long, just is like the perfect like way to end a night for me. Usually while I'm drinking my tea, I'll put on like one of my favorite shows. Right now I've been loving Living Single. It's just like a really cute, like wholesome show to watch. Like I love Sinclair's and Overton's relationship. I think they're like the cutest couple ever. Um, but yeah, so that's kind of like what I'll do like as I'm like drinking my tea. 
I filmed this video on a Sunday, so I also wanted to go into my planner and just plan the rest of the week. I love doing that on a Sunday, like especially during the evening. So I kind of know like what my week is gonna look like ahead of time. After that, I took my shower, did my skincare routine, and then I went to bed. <laughs> I'll hang out in like my bed after that. I wrote in my journal for a little bit. I like to try and spend like 30 to 45 minutes with my journal every night. I feel like it's a good way for me to kind of like let go of all of anything that I might have been worrying about during the day or just kind of like reflect on any positive things that happened as well. And speaking of reflection, I also like to sit with my reflection journal. I picked this one up from Anthropology maybe like a couple months ago, I think during like the holiday season that has like prompts in it that have you reflect on things like what you're grateful for or like what your favorite part of your day was and things like, you know, what are your intentions for tomorrow? I love ending like the day on that type of note because it kind of like gears me up for the next day and just reminds me to like be grateful for all that I have like in this present moment. But yeah, I think that's it for today's video, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. Thank you so much for watching, especially if you got all the way to the end. I know this was a pretty lengthy one, but I've been really enjoying like adding like these little like vlog tidbits in here. So I hope you guys enjoy it. Thank you so, so very much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. I'm sending lots of love to all of you and hopefully I will see you in the next one.